overclocking, stress testing, benchmarking. If any of these words sound familiar to you, if you're a PC enthusiast or just love tweaking your hardware, you probably want to check out this tool. This is Leo from Fall Critic, and today we'll be taking a look at Ada64 Extreme. This product comes well packed in a 16 megabyte installer. And when you open up the user interface, you're greeted with this old fashioned but very functional GUI. So we have two ways of navigating this UI. It's not a one-way navigation. So if you're more of a menu kind of person, you can use the menu on the left and you can use the arrows and you can navigate to whatever section you want. If you're more of an icon person and you like a bigger display of uh, the different components, then you can use the right-hand side user interface, which is basically your traditional Windows Explorer icon type interface. And once again, you can navigate it either way. So let's get to the uses of this program. First of all, if you are a regular user, you probably won't be using most of the functionality that comes along with this. However, this is a great tool to get information about your system. So if you want to find out more about your hardware, you can go into any of the categories like for example let's say we want to find out more about our computer we can just go into summary and it tells us everything about all the hardware components that we have over here our audio adapter our video adapter our cpu and you can even go into much more detail if you want you can get uh, more product information and you can even update your drivers over here so if you want to check for drivers for all your hardware components, they have that setting over here. And you can also check for BIOS updates, which is very useful. But to be honest, the software is not really targeted towards the everyday user. It is meant more for PC enthusiasts and system administrators. So if you are a system administrator, this provides a very easy access to a lot of things or tools that you will need on a regular basis. For example, if you go into network, it brings up Windows network, internet, routes, uh, browser history, all this stuff. If you go into storage, it shows you the Windows storage, logical drives, physical drives, your smart data, you know, all sorts of things. And it's very well organized. So you can get to anything you want very quickly. This is absolutely wonderful for system administrators. Very easy access to some of the common things that you're going to need. In the motherboard section, you can take a look at all the detailed stuff about your CPU. For example, what instruction sets it supports, the cache in the different locations, your L1, L2, L3 cache, the package type, much more than just, uh, you know, what CPU you have. So if you're a hardware control freak or something of that nature, you will love this program. It is very detailed and in-depth. And as you can see, it gives us really nice stats about all our different hardware. For example, our memory, we can take a look at our BIOS over here. And it's not very easy to get all this information without the software. Now, talking about navigation, you can use back, forward, go up, refresh, and you can even add your favorites for quick access. Now getting into some of the tools that this uh, product comes with or the actual functionality of this product. This is primarily a stress testing utility. Now you might be wondering what is stress testing? So let me just give you a quick overview of what that actually means. So in case you're a PC enthusiast and you like overclocking your system or changing different hardware parameters, you want to find out if those settings that you change to are stable. Because if they're not, maybe someday you'll be working with your computer and all of a sudden something may crash. So in order to make sure that your computer is perfectly operational and that everything is perfectly stable and reliable, you need to stress test it, which means take the hardware to its limits and keep it there for a while in order to make sure that it is performing optimally. So in order to stress test, we can go into tools and click on system stability test. And as you can see, it has different options. It can stress your CPU, um, your cache, system memory, GPU, whatever you want, even your disks. 
and below it has really nice graphs for temperature so you can monitor the temperatures while your system is being stressed to make sure if your overclock or whatever is uh, stable or not and if the temperatures are within the safe limits it also has graphs for cooling fans so you can see your fan curve over here and how your fan behaves at different temperatures the rpms and it always has the cpu usage at the bottom so you can compare the two you can take a look at your voltages your clocks and uh, the statistics if you click on cpu id it's going to give you the information about your cpu here you can check your overclock settings and you can save them too into a text file or something so that you can refer to them afterwards you can do that with pretty much everything you do with the software you can save the results as a text file or as a log somewhere else so let's start stress testing so as you can see when we start the stability test the CPU is immediately maxed out if we go into task manager we're going to see that right now the CPU is at 100% load and why would you want to do that enthusiasts probably understand but for the everyday consumer I'm going to elaborate so if your CPU is able to run at 100% uh, load for let's say 24 hours or a very long time you can be reasonably assured that your settings are working correctly and that your system is going to work reliably in that configuration so that's why we do the whole stress testing thing if you're not changing your hardware parameters if you're not into overclocking if you're not doing anything you probably won't need to do this but a lot of us do like to do it so that is how it works with this tool and once you've uh, let this run for a while what you want to do is you want to come back and check if it's still running or if it has crashed or if your system has shut down if any of that has happened it means your settings are not stable and you need to maybe lower your clocks or change some settings again but if the system is perfectly operational and the stress test is continuing after let's say 24 hours you can be reasonably certain that your system is not going to crash on you while you're doing some intensive tasks so now we'll stop the stress test you can save the graphs and results for future reference as I mentioned earlier now apart from stress testing you can also run different benchmarks you can run benchmarks on your disks you can check the diagnostics for your monitor you can even benchmark your cache and memory so let's just go ahead and do a disk benchmark first you need to um, read their quick overview and then you can check out the different benchmark options that they have you can do a complete read test you can do a linear read test random read test these are different ways of testing the performance of your hard drive and comparing it with other products to know how uh, your drive stacks up and if it's performing optimally or if you want an improvement so this is used to compare different drives different hardware so we're just going to go ahead and do a read test we are using an SSD so it should be pretty quick once you're ready and you've selected the drive that you want to perform the test on you just need to click on start and now it's going to run all the different read tests and it's going to give you the data rate at which it was done as you can see our linear read uh, was performed at 962 megabytes per second that's really fast and you can compare this data to other drives if you want and that will give you an idea of how your hardware compares to some of the other stuff out there once the benchmark is complete of course you can take a look at the results but we're just going to go ahead and stop it if you want to save the results you can save it as a PNG file now this tool does come with some additional bells and whistles like um, you can do some PC backup and uh, it comes with a report wizard that allows you to create a report for your PC and it has links to its forums contact and uh, there's a lot of information online if you want to do that now let's take a look at their preferences here you can choose your language your general settings you can um, check for updates you can decide what to view when ADA 64 starts you can show it in the control panel load it during startup display the splash screen if you want minimize it to system tray all that type of stuff then you have 
some layout options, some stability options. Now, if you're a hardware enthusiast, you probably might want to take a look at these. It's very detailed and very customizable. Now, in hardware monitoring, you can decide how to sh uh, how you want the temperatures to be shown and whether or not you want to measure the disk temperatures as well. You can select the update frequency for each of these so that uh, you can decide the exact interval after which the sensor data is refreshed. So right now it's set to like three and five milliseconds. You can even change the icons if you want. There's an on-screen panel too and you can choose exactly what you want to show there. So lots of fancy stuff and you can have a desktop gadget if you want. Once again, as I said, a very detailed and customizable program. So that's my overview of ADA64 Extreme. As I said, this is a great tool for overclockers and hardware enthusiasts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do like it if you did and subscribe to our channel for more. And don't forget to check out the written review at www.filecritic.com. This is your host Leo, signing out.